Uh, I wanted to make a video of my Alucap 270 awning. I freaking love this awning. It does perfectly amazing for me and everything like that. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about my awning and the daily use of it. And also a little surprise at the end of what happened to it. So stay tuned and enjoy. I've had my Alucab 270 awning for uh, almost six years now and I absolutely love it. I've used it in multiple conditions between heavy rain, heavy wind, and lots and lots of snow and it's done amazingly well. I originally started out with a smaller awning that I had on the back of the FJ Cruiser and it wasn't a self-standing awning. I had a set up poles and let me tell you the difference between those two are just insane. The Alu Cab can handle so much more and it's so much quicker to set up versus having to deal with legs. Living full-time on the road I'm definitely somebody who has used this awning to its fullest and tested it out in multiple conditions. If you're looking for an overall good awning, then I highly recommend checking out the Alucab 270 awning. It's done pretty well for me and I loved it. This is what happens when it rains all night long. That's one side. And now here's the next side. This is the really big one. This is the really big one. Here we go. <laughs> we have snow that accumulated. Ready? <laughs> this is like a couple hours worth. Oh, it's going to be good tomorrow. It's going to be good tomorrow. Wow. How did all this snow fall? It's time to pack up my awning, so <laughs> we're gonna see if we can do this. Should we scrape some snow? So we have to take these and put them inside of the little channel that Alu Cab came with. The problem with it is that it's so iced over. I don't know if I'll be able to get it inside the channel, but I'll try. So the way that you do it is you grab this, you bring it up there, and then grab this. And then you shove it inside this channel right here. So I got my little hammer here that I use to hammer in the um, little holders. I use this hook so I don't have to dig for it. So I'm gonna try to find where we put that in the ground. But the problem is we actually packed ice into this and it's frozen solid. So I'm gonna start chipping away at the ice. And yes, that is literally what is causing this not to come up. Oh God, oh shoot. Huh, I don't know guys. I can't find the actual hook. Well, I found it. I hook it on like that, and then if I can get it to stay on it, oh, nice. I pull up, Smart. and that's how you get it out, you see? And then they go back into there. And then that closes once you get the lights back in there too, but my fingers are freezing. I give them a minute to thaw. Well, yeah, see these are these really cool lights. They're waterproof, they're pinch resistant, resistant. They wrap perfectly around the aloe cabin. As you can see, they've gone through quite a lot and they're pinch resistant. So they're pretty nice. They wrap around the entire aloe cab. 
I've got it on every single crossbar and it's double wrapped and as you saw in some of my videos it looks really good it doesn't light it up a lot but it gives it enough of a little ambient light so that it's not completely pitch black. Are but, you going to put a link below for them? Yes, I'll put a link below in the description for this if they're still available. Yeah, These I'm, are very old lights, they might still not be available. I'm super impressed though that they stayed on yeah, all, all night, night long. All night. Yeah, and They don't pull very much wattage at all. My freaking Jeep didn't even want to start. The keep off was so cold. <laughs> so this just goes inside the little carry case for the uh, tie downs as well. Like that. It's going to be the hard one because there's ice all along it down here. So that's going to be the really hard one. But we're going to try and get it going. And so it's got ice entirely down. The entire <laughs> strap. All the way down to the bottom of the strap. So this should be interesting to try to put this away. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Oh, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Shove it inside this little hole right here. Luckily, I got all the ice off, so it's actually gonna go in there. Knock a couple of these ice cubes off right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot, there's one more step. You do have to push this thing down right here and it's really hard to push down. There we go, got it. All right, so we're gonna move the FJ forward so Phil can move his Jeep and get his stuff closed and then we'll work on closing mine as well because it's full of ice right now. So we'll get that moved and then yeah, fun stuff. even pull it out while we're getting Chinese food and let it dry. <laughs> we we're almost all packed up. This is so exciting. We were worried it was going to be so hard. Nah. Look at that. Just right there. That's the only How issue. exciting is that? It's super exciting. Woo! No we way. <laughs> awesome. I get as much as I can off while I'm driving. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end. It's right, guys. A huge windstorm came out of nowhere. And the Alu Cab didn't survive. You did your job while you did, Ollie. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one who shaded me. Goodbye, my lover.